Hello friend, this is Ryan Hicks of TalkToProfit.com. Today I want to talk to you about a little tip on your visualization. Some people say, well my visualization doesn't work. And I think the problem many people have is, at least one of them, is that they are daydreaming. And it may seem like a fine, subtle line between the two, but they're not living the experience while they're visualizing. So they are daydreaming. It's like a kid dreaming that they're dancing in a Disney movie or something. It's not going to happen. It, there's no reality behind it. There's no feelings behind it. There's no faith behind it. And so it doesn't get results. In your visualization, I want you to try this. When you are visualizing the end result, you don't need to visualize all the steps to get there because you don't know the steps to get there. And plus, when you do that, you are now limiting and creating a limiting environment that has to go a certain pre-planned way that you've been visualizing and you may add months, years, decades on to getting that end result. That's not up to you. When Jesus says, if you speak unto that mountain, say, be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea and shall not doubt in your heart, you shall have whatsoever you say. See, the thing is you believe for the end result. Be thou cast in the sea. You're not worried about how it's happening. Well, angel's going to come pick it up. And well, I believe it's going to need a crew to come in there and pick them out. You don't worry about any of the ways it gets there. You let God do that. He's the one that's created everything. He can easily get it to you a hundred different ways. Don't limit God by creating these scenarios that it has to go a certain way. You just focus on the end result. But as you focus on the end result, as you're visualizing that, live it out, experience everything. So this could include things that maybe aren't exactly perfect. So, so if it's a fancy car, let's say you, you're visualizing for a Rolls Royce and you visualize getting the umbrella out of the door and you have a little bit of trouble opening the umbrella because some people have some problems opening it. Now that's not a big deal. Obviously that doesn't matter at all. But that is something you can add to the visualization that gives it some reality to it. That you might have a scenario where you get this car, you've not experienced it before, you don't know to press in the umbrella handle to get it to pop open. That's fine. You're not, it's not a negative thing, it's just something you're figuring out. But you add those kind of little things, not negative things, so don't add something bad happening, somebody running into your car, or hail hitting it, or anything like that. Just little scenarios that maybe, well, you get into the car and you're trying to find where is the seat adjustment. Things like that, that are just scenarios that in real life, if you got that car, you would go through. You, okay, how do I adjust the seat? How do I adjust the steering wheel? Add those real reality-based scenarios into your visualization. This creates it. So you feel the way you would feel if you actually had that end result. And so what happens is, this is not a daydream anymore. This is you living out the experience, which is how you get the visualization to work, which is how you get that thing into your reality. So my friend, I pray this is a blessing for you. May God bless you richly.